Hi, my name is Thor Giddings. I'm a senior solutions architect with the AWS team. And in this video, I'll show you how to encrypt and decrypt data with KMS on .NET. Let's get started. So with this program, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect to the KMS service via the SDK. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to grab the keys that my account has access to based on my profile set up in Visual Studio. And then I'm gonna go through the config file settings to look for config settings that have the name of secret, and I'm gonna encrypt and decrypt those settings to show you how that works. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the exe config file really quick to show that the keys are not already encrypted. So take a look at that, and let's go ahead and start the application. Okay, so the first method is gonna go ahead, based on my Visual Studio profile, go out and get all the keys that I have access to. If this was EC2, you could use an EC2 role to do a similar set of actions. So here's the client. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and connect, and then it's going to get a response. And based on what I have access to, you'll see that I have uh, 17 different keys that I have access to. And I'm gonna find the key that I want to encrypt with and return the, the key ID. Okay, so now I'm gonna step through all of the app config settings. And here you can see the unencrypted text. So I'm gonna create the client, create the encryption request, set the key ID, uh, set the client's payload, and then actually call the encrypt. And once I call the encrypt, I'm gonna actually base64 encode it so it's easier to work with. So that's what that code is doing, and we'll go ahead and call it. And next we're gonna go in and we're going to decrypt the text. So here you can see the encrypted text. So very similarly, we're going to create a client, create the decryption request. We're gonna go ahead and unbase64 this, or convert it from a base64 string, and then run the decryption. So it went ahead and it decrypted it, and you can see the output of the program. So here you can see the original values, you can see the encrypted values for each thing in the app config, and that it completed. And if you now go in and take a look at your config file, you'll see the encrypted values. Now what's interesting to note here, on the decrypt, I didn't have to specify the key. It already knows the key based on the encrypted data. So it's a really nice way where you can encrypt and decrypt data without actually having access to the keys uh, through, the, through the SDK natively. So now you can see just how easy it is to encrypt and decrypt data with KMS on .NET. Thanks for watching.